ride this ferry ride? Look. <laughs> Uh -huh. Avery. Sun's in your eyes. Well, we don't. Right. Well, I'll use that sometime. Yeah, I got a project for that. Ahoy, Lake Erie Islanders. Your captain and crew would like to welcome you to the Lake Erie Shores and Islands. Thank you for joining us on board the Jet Express for this 12 and a half mile, 30 minute ferry ride to the historic village of Put In Bay. For the comfort of everyone, we ask that you refrain from smoking, vaping, and drinking alcoholic beverages while on board. Please do not sit on the seat backs or handrails and keep your feet on the deck throughout the ride. If you are traveling with small children, please make sure they are seated next to you or in your lap at all times. You are embarking on a truly unique voyage aboard one of four Jet Express catamarans built exclusively in the United States by the Gladingham Shipbuilding Company in Somerset, Massachusetts. Powered by twin turbocharged diesel engines with up to 1,750 horsepower each and high volume water jets. Up to 1,000 gallons of water discharged per second per jet. The Jet Express vessel's average speed is 30 knots or 34 and a half miles per hour. As required by the United States of your captain and crew, life jacket locations are clearly marked and found throughout the vessel. In the event that you are required to don a life jacket, the proper procedure is as follows. Pull the life jacket down over your head and onto your body. Wrap the strap around the back and clasp the hook into the o-ring. To tighten, pull the loose end of the strap. Place the life jacket onto yourself prior to placing the life jacket onto any other person requiring assistance. Graphic instructional life jacket donning placards are located on the inside cabins of the watercraft near the exit doors. Life rings are located throughout the Jet Express and found on the lower main deck and on the second deck pilot house level. If you are required to leave the Jet Express in a life float, we will instruct you to proceed to the survival craft area on the lower rear deck of the vessel. At that point, crew members will further assist you. Any misuse or tampering with any of the life-saving equipment on board is prohibited by federal law. If you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to talk to any member of our crew. We want your cruise to be a pleasant one. Enjoy the ride. Next stop, Whitgame Bay. Like as far as you can see.
Are you like that, Wes? You don't know. <laughs> smile. No smile. <laughs> We're on the top deck. You take the stairs right down there to the second deck, and then there's the lower deck. Well, we were camping down in uh, Indian Lake, it's down by like we're in the dog Island is North Bass Island, also referred to as the Isle of St. George. 
The island is once covered with vineyards and is home to the 593-acre North Bass Island State Park. School children living on North Bass or other islands take a water taxi or fly to school on the mainland or put the bay. One of the most unique schools in the United States, graduating anywhere from two to five students every year on average. But that is neat to have to ride a water taxi to school every day. <laughs> in 1865, by Civil War financier Jay Cook, where he visited with and entertained many distinguished guests, including past residents of the United States. Now owned by the Ohio State University and home to the Stone Laboratory, an operation since 1937, it is recognized as one of the best freshwater marine biological laboratories in the country. As we enter Putin Bay Harbor, we see a direct view of Perry's Victory International Peace Memorial, also known as Perry's Monument. Built to commemorate Oliver Hazard Perry's victory over the British fleet in the War of 1812, and the continued long-lasting peace between the United States and Great Britain. Perry's victory allowed Americans to take control of Lake Erie, and with it, most of the Old Northwest. An observation platform 317 feet above the lake is reached by elevator. The monument stands 352 feet high, the fourth tallest monument in the United States. We are now approaching our Putten Bay dock. We ask that you remain on your deck until the lines have been secured and the off-ramp put into place. Please make sure you have all of your personal belongings. Public restrooms are available on our Jet Express dock, as well as in De Rivera Park, where you can also find storage lockers for rent. We invite you to explore the sights and sounds of this famous Victorian village. On the behalf of the captain and crew, thank you for joining us on the Jet Express. Have a wonderful stay at Put-In Bay. the ferry now. So where are we going to be staying? Staying? Yeah. We're leaving the top deck. <laughs> I probably climbed up here. It's a cool little ride, wasn't it? Well, you can always sit inside. Now we're leaving the second deck. First step. Got some inside seating. Bye. All right, we're on Putin Bay. It is under the Jet Express.